Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? Welcome back to Demolish and Build, and I have just been given the full version of the game, which very, very unfortunately means that the progress that we had from the demo version is not able to be carried over. I did make inquiries, I did everything I could, but unfortunately it just won't do it. So we now have the full version of the game. And we do have to start again, but we kind of know what to do, so I'm hoping that we'll sort of get through some of those bits very quickly. We won't just repeat the same things. We've got to do this first job, and then after that, everything, um, we, we ought to be able to speed things up a little bit. So, are you there yet? It took you long enough. Keeping our client waiting is bad for business. Yeah, you're not a very nice person. I don't like you at all. You better start working on the contract as soon as possible. I don't need you slacking off during work hours. Don't you know how to accept the contract? Just interact with the demolition sign next to you. I don't know why I'm still paying you. Get to work. He's a lovely fella, isn't he? Absolutely lovely fella. Right, let me go and play around the options a minute, and then I will get started. Right, hopefully this is all good, and we are all good to go. So we accept that one. Uh, did it say $5? I'm pretty sure it said $5 there. Let me just close that one. Uh, yeah, we, we got the worker senses. You go, you, you do that. Yeah, I need, I need to just alter the music and the effects again. Right, that should be a little bit better. I've put the music down just a fraction, and I've increased the um, effects just a fraction as well. So we should, should be able to hear it just a little bit better. Uh, right, no, we need to press F to pick the stuff up, don't we? Um, no. Come out through here. So the first, I remember this job. This was very, very easy. We put this stuff out here and we, we threw it all into, actually, I, I got to pick that up again. Um, we chucked it all into there. We came through, we came racing through as fast as we could. We picked them all up. We ran them out and we dumped them into this skip right here. And then once we'd done that, we also had to break the wires off the walls in here. And then we were able to go outside and we did the other stuff, which was smashing up the lion statues on the roof. Which was great fun, and then it turned out that it was the wrong thing to do. We weren't allowed to do that. Um, it, was, it was very unfortunate, so we, we didn't really like it. So we got this one. This is the fourth one that we got to dump into the container. There, right. So there's that bit done. And then I need to come over here, and then we just go F on there. And then there was one there. And there's one there. Right, there's one more. There's one more electric wire. Oh, there it is in the corner. There we go. Right, nailed it. Demolish the walls inside. So this is actually quite easy. If we, um, with, what's crouch? Oh, C. C to crouch. But no, what we do is we go along and we bust the bottom of the wall all the way along like this. Just, just do it slowly and carefully. And then the entire wall falls down on top of us. And it works beautifully. It works really, really well. Except that the plaster on the wall does actually work as like a, a separate thing. So you come over and you, you knock all of this. There we go. Okay, that's all fallen down now. That entire thing is, is all collapsed. Uh, there. Right. I should just be... If I hit it, yeah. It just... Brilliant. I love, It does topple over really satisfyingly, doesn't it? You can... I, I didn't even know you could do that. You can push it. You literally just hold on to it and push... And it will actually fall over. That is brilliant. Let's see if we can do that again. So we just want to go along the very bottom. And just chip out the very bottom of the wall like this. And there. And then if I stand up, I should just be able to push that over. There we go. Look, it does. It works. It lets you push it over. That is fantastic. I had no idea that it would do that. Right, now we got the lion statues up on the roof is the last little bit, and then this one is done. So, I'm jump up there, and let's take out these lion statues. This is the bit that costs us our job, by the way. Um, spoiler alert. This is this is the bit. that this, this is what does it. We smash the lion statue. I mean, it's still fun smashing lion statue. Look at that. Look, look how satisfying is it? It's awesome. It's brilliant. Lion statue smashed. Let's get another one. There we go. Let's take him from the top down this time. And beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. One more bit. Right, that is done. Task done. Let's jump down here. And enter to finalize. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Reward $5. Absolutely amazing. We get five whole dollars for doing this. And we get a $94 bonus. We do get $99. So it's not all bad. 
Incoming call, press enter to answer. This is, this is where we lose our job. You ready? I just got a call from the client. I'm sure you did. We did a wonderful job. Everything that was asked. He said you broke the priceless lion statues. They weren't priceless. They were rubbish, cheap, poured concrete knockoffs. I could have done better myself. My five-year-old son could have done better. I don't actually have a five-year-old son, but um, he's nine. But um, you, you get the idea. What do you mean that was part of the contract? The customer is always right. Forget about your paycheck. I had enough. You're fired. Don't let me see you again. A bunch of monkeys would do a better job. You had it in for me for the start. You had it in for me from the start. Ivan, get to work of. <laughs> I just realised what his name was. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Ivan, get to work. Right. Um. Yeah, but you, you've had it in for me right from the start. You're nothing but complaints. Do your job yourself. You ain't Good luck finding anybody else who's going to come and work for you after I put the word around. I'm Frithgar. I've got some clout in these parts. Close. Right. Um. Find a new job. Okay. Well, let's... Oh, there we go. There's a new job. Right. Get fired from... Achievement unlocked. Get fired from your job. That's the first Steam achievement. You don't actually see those, but um, yeah. Right. Hey, I've heard the boss fired you. Don't worry about that. I also left the job. The joke pays terrible. Not to mention he smells like a big ape. How about we become partners and start our own company with uh, our own machines and tools? I transferred some cash to your account. I also marked a nice property for sale on a GPS. Go there and buy the office. It should be perfect for our new company. Oh, by the way, look for a parking sign nearby. You can deliver the pickup truck there. This way you don't have to go everywhere by foot. Sounds good to me. Right, where is... Where's, where's the parking sign? I can't actually remember where the nearest parking sign is. Let's go over this way. Can we put the tools... I don't think you can put tools away. Let's have a look. So you've got menu... Worker senses, tutorials, move, interact, jump, and then tools. So if uh, I've got number two, it's the one that I've got. No, you can't. You cannot put... Yeah, you can do that. But you've got to have the tool out while you're walking around. I, that is one little aspect that I don't particularly like. I, I'm hoping that that is changed at some point. Right, let's deliver our pickup. There it is. In all its glory. Uh, no, I, I don't want to hit it with the hammer. And we've got a bit of music. Right, now we need to head off up the road and get to our new offices. So the new offices we had, there was a few little bits and pieces that we had to do around the offices just to sort of prepare it for our use. But generally speaking, it was pretty good. Um, probably ought to take the corners a little bit more slowly than that. Or the customers are going to think that I'm not a very good driver. We can't be having with that. We, we can't be having that. Let's just bring it in round. There we go. Right. Nailed it. Uh, how do I get it? There. Right. This time I nailed it. Now, we go into here. We press F. You need to set your office here to start working. Uh, ten oh, I have the money for it. Do you want to buy it? Yes, I do. Ideal. Remove the plank, barricades from windows and doors, and demolish the ruins. Right. So, land of property development. So, this one here. We had to go over here. This this was the fun bit here. Was uh, was knocking these down. You just... Boop. Awesome. And boop like that. And then one final boop right there. And the whole lot comes crashing down. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> I love it. This this game is so much fun. It really is. It's very simple and basic, especially like the, the way that they've done the, the graphics on it. But it is a lot of fun. Uh, several people said um, that, you know, it does seem quite sort of simple, the way they've done it, the way that it breaks up the big pieces and that. It's still so much fun. Right? Just trust me on this. It's lots and lots of fun to be able to do this. Right? Demolish your ruins. That bit's done. And now I need to just go around and hit all of the windows. Because, you know, why not? Um, that, that That's obviously the, the most sensible way of doing this, is just hitting the windows. Oh, that's, that requires multiple hits. Look at that. I had to be excessively aggressive on that one. Took that one out and that one there. And the office itself inside is actually amazingly good condition. Uh, there, there's a lot of really good stuff going on in there. So we take, I mean, look at it. Look, that's like, considering it's boarded up, that's pretty good. It's, it's, it's in pretty good nick. Right, uh, finalize. Job done. We're not going to get it's just 100% stage one of one. Right, incoming call, press enter to answer. How's it going? Oh, we've, we've, we've finished, mate. We're, we're well on schedule. Have you already got it done? Awesome. 
Now we need some heavy machinery to receive better contracts. I marked a machine shop on the map. You can either drive there or open the map and use a taxi by clicking on location for fast travel. Um, why would he need to mark it on the map? We've already had... We've been employed here for a while. We ought to know where the machinery market is. Look. It's just outside of town. Just down here. And look at this airport. I show you... Yes. Yes, of course I want to go to the airport. Departures and arrivals. We have an actual airport. And this time we can use the airport. Let's go. Show hint. Airports. Use an airport sign to travel to different places. Increasing company rating will unlock new locations. What's this over here? Why Why is there a sign? Uh, parking lots. Use parking lots to transport your machinery. And there. Look. We can go to different locations in the world. I, I, I don't actually know where we can go. Does it say on here where we can go? We, we've got uh, Gold Valley. Your office. Pick up. It doesn't actually say where we can go. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment anyway. I'm going to go over here to Tool Shop. There we go. Doris! Hi, how are you? We haven't seen you for ages. Not since last time. Um, right, we don't want Doris at the moment. Doris can stay there. Uh, we're going to go over here. We're going to get our bulldozer. Now, we do actually have to do... Actually have to do... We do actually have to do a... Um, we have to get the license, don't we? Remember having to do the license. Is there a run? I don't think there is a run. I don't think you can run in this one. Um, no, I don't want to do that. I actually have to go to the front. I have to go to here, like this. And I have to do that. And then I have to go to buy. We can demolish. And we can push sand. We can demolish wooden structures. Did I buy? Buy. Okay, I think I bought. Achievement unlocked. Bulldozer, you got the machine. You still have to pass the exam. Um, yeah, okay. We, we know all about that. So we have to go this way. It's over here. There it is. We have to finish the exam. And then once we've done the exam, then we are good to go. So you go into here and you go to accept. Vehicle exam. We go over here. We drive into... We, we get into this one. We anchor on round. Right. Uh, I'm going to lift that one up. Uh, so you can push it down. If we lift it up slightly, it leaves tracks on the ground now. Okay, that's new. It didn't used to leave tracks on the ground. So that's, uh, that's one of the updates that they've added in. Right, let me just bring that one back a little bit. And there, we can take that out like that. Nailed it. 98% damage at the moment, but I'm, I'm sure we can live with that. Bring that forward a bit there, and straight through both of those. Now, if we went a little bit slower, it would probably be safer. Uh, we go over there. We need to run over that one. Right task done. So then I just lower that one down, and all I got to do is push this stuff around. Oh, I see. It now lifts the blade up into the air. You have the blade down on the ground, and you go over the sand, and it forces the blade... Oh, no, it's not forced it up now. It was forcing the blade up into the air. Uh, it's sort of forcing the blade in. It's thinking about it. Definitely thinking about it. But they've done a few updates to the game. They've, um, they've made a few changes into it uh, based on people's testing and so on during the beta. So there may be a few slight tweaks and changes to this as we work our way through. Generally speaking, though, it should all be good. So let's see. Uh, finalize. There we go. We now have our license. We have another call. I think you're ready. There should be some contracts available in the menu under the jobs tab. Finish them to get more cash. Why am I not working? Well, I provided you with cash. I'm more of an investor, but don't worry. I'll give you some tips while working on obtaining better deals abroad. Contracts aren't the only way of getting cash. Try collecting scrap with your pickup or buy a robot with jackhammer to break some rocks with gold nuggets. Check green circles on the map. Right, so there are all kinds of ways to make money. Now, we we, uh, we could get the robot and we could do the green circle thing. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's, that's the vehicles ready to buy. Right, we'll, we'll ignore that bit for now. Um, what I didn't do previously, we need to earn company rating D. Now, if I press escape and I look around, at the moment, yeah, we, we've got machines out here. You've got demolition robot and stuff like that. Um, we've got some jobs over here. There's some places, the green circles is places with scrap that we can go to as well. Uh, there's a parking space back. No, I, I, I don't want to do that. Um, we could go to one of these green circles and we could get something and we could try doing the whole scrap thing. I don't know where we're supposed to sell scrap though. 
So one thing I'm not sure of is where we actually sell the scrap. But I'm going to speak to Doris here. Lovely, beautiful, radiant Doris. And we're going to buy, not the welder. What does that do? Good for fixing machines and welding metal. That doesn't look like a welder to me. That looks like a, um, a blowtorch. See? Gas canister and then the flame comes out there. Blowtorch. Um, abrasive saw. Used to cut hard materials such as concrete or metal. Yeah, I don't, I, we'll go for that one. Accept. Right. Close. There we go. And... Right, that cost us $1,000. Ideal. Right, we got that one. And there, there's... Uh, yeah, close. We're, we're not interested. Um, so next up, I want to go onto the map. And I want to go... And I want to get over to one of these. So I, I can go to the renovate... Renovated shop. Back. Uh, garage. Old casino. So where do we sell the metal? Uh, look, that's what I want to find out. Is where where do I sell metal? There's got to be places to sell the metal. You can, you can go and cut it up. He said so. But where do you sell it? Uh, properties. Guarded parking. Small gold mine. Sell it on the market in order to earn cash. Uh... Market. Net worth gold market. Gold Valley scraps. There it is. $1,800 per ton of metal. All right. All right. All right. We can do this. We can do this. Let's go to the renovated shop. Except we go over here. And then I'm going to go back on here. And I'm going to put a little marker right there. Yes. Except. Okay. That's where I need to go. So then I want to get my pickup. Because I'm going to need to use this one anyway. Just to have something a little bit smaller in our hands while we're doing this. Uh, deliver vehicle. There. So then we can jump into this one. Right. Alright, deal. Now, we want to go out this way. And then up round this way. Our truck is not the best of trucks, is it? Discover abandoned office. Okay. I don't really know what we do with the abandoned office, but we've discovered it anyway. It's good, it's good to know that we've discovered it. That, at least, we can say we have now done. So we come on around this way. I'm on the road. Why is it saying that I'm not on the road? I'm going to go out this way. Boom! Look at my driving! Spectacular! Right, so I'm... Oh, there's the, there's the scrap metal. Waypoint, and there is our scrap metal. So we want to bring this one up. We're going to go a bit closer. Bit closer. Closer. I think about there will do. How do I get out? I press that one. Right. Now, the thing that I'm curious about is, is there a way to skip the night? I don't know if there is. That's something that I would like to find out. Um, now, what do I do here? I've done that. Ah, right. I can pick that up and I can not put it in there. No! No! Right, uh, I'm just going to leave that one right there, and then I'm going to go on to here, and I'm going to do that. Cut that door off. Okay, ideal. And I'm going to jump up here, and... Um, what's the best way to do this? Just going to start trying to cut slices off of this thing. How well does slices cut? Um, I want to pick that door up. There we go. Nailed it. And put you in there. I see. Right. So it does eventually pick up. It's just that that um, mirror there is, is not going to do anything, is it? It's just going to stay there. So I need to go and get some more bits. Let's try and cut that off of there. Well, that's not worked. If I go this direction, maybe it'll work. I'll try and cut that front piece off. The fender, I think that is. Come over this side. What about the bumper? Sure, I can cut this up. Nope. Ah, there we go. Finally, I got a piece. Right, so we can take that one there, and then I can put that one in the back. That's 20%. 20% scrap. And if I come over here, I want to take that one off of there. Go back a bit more. There has to be a way to take this one off. The other one came off. The other, the other one came right off in my hand. Huh. 
Well, that's, that's not... Oh, hang on a minute. Well, I managed to cut that one off. There we go. I can take that one off as well. So if I take you and then I lift you up like that. And I'll bring you straight in. There we go. So I got that one. And then you up there. I need something heavier. I might be able to cut it in half, though. If I, if I can come up here, I may be able to cut that roof right in half. Right the way down through there. It's going to let me. There's no indication to say whether or not I've, I'm doing this right or not. It sort of just does, doesn't have a thing. I, it's got that crane symbol. I'm guessing I can't really do anything without the crane. I do actually. That is going to be something that I need. Uh, but that mirror. I should be able to take this mirror. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right, where'd it go? It definitely fell off. Where are you? Where's it gone? How has it just vanished like that? I had... It's just so wrong. This is messed up. This is really, really messed up. Right, we got that bit there. I'm going to try and sort of cut round on the front. Nope, that's not working. I want a bit more metal. I want to load my truck right up. There's a bumper there that I ought to be able to take off. So there's set lines that you can cut on these vehicles by the look of it. There's only like, it's, it's set directions that you can do things. So I've got like a fuel tank there. Um, it's probably not the best, smartest idea to go cutting a fuel tank like this. Ever you want to, uh, well, you you gotta abs you gotta make sure that it is vented, and you, you you gotta be careful when you're chopping up a fuel tank. You really do. The bad things can happen with the fuel tanks, and I don't currently know if I'm doing anything right or not. I think that this is about had it. We chop that side there. Right, I think the cuts are pretty quick. So if I go down that side, is that is that gonna make a cut? No cuts. Nope. Please, something fall off this truck. I just want little bits to fall off. I, you know, a couple more bits, and then I can dump them in the back of my pickup, and I'm I'm good to go. Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing else coming off of this one. It, this it's had it. Look, look at that. I've got the whole roof piece there. I got a feeling that until I can remove that, nothing else is going to happen. So let's jump in here, and we'll go and find the... Yeah, see, see, oh, there's the mirror. Right, let me, let me climb out a second. The mirror just fell off. There it is. Uh, grab that one. 36%. So there should be another mirror over here somewhere. I don't know where that one went. That one, that one went flying. Oh, there, is that it? There it is. Found it! Ideal! Right, so we put that one in as well. There we go. So we're up to 41%. I just don't think I'm able to take anything else this time round. I think that's all I'm going to be able to take. Yeah. Not gonna, it's not going to let me do it. Why can't I take the fuel tank? You'd think that the fuel tank would actually fall off and be quite easy to do. Of, there, of all the bits on here, you'd think that would be the one that would sort of come off and, and actually work. Uh, but apparently not. Nope. Alright, okay, yeah, we're just going to leave it. We're going to go and we're going to go into here. So then I also need to go into here. I need to go to market there. Gold Valley. Show on map. Where is it? Is that it down there? That must be it. Uh, market. 1800. Show on map. There. Oh, it's, it's over here. Right. I'm going to put a point there. Accept. Right. Hopefully, this is the, the way that we got it. So, uh, where, is, where is it? It's over... Oh, it's over there. It is, it is over this way. So, we want to head over this way. We got 40% scrap in the back of it, so well, it's 40% full. And I'm hoping that that over that way somewhere there is where we actually go and sell all of this scrap. We will make an absolute fortune, make a pile of money doing this, and that will also contribute towards our um, company rating. Right, what's this? That is for lease. 
I don't want to lease that. Keep going. Keep going. Now, is that it? Actually, I think this is it. I think we have found it. Let me just stop right here a minute and we will look at what these um, the, the, the two question marks have to say. This one here, enter... Ten gold nuggets for breaking rocks with a heavy jackhammer, e.g. robot jackhammer. Okay. And we look at this one and this one here. Obtain scrap from old cars. Check the green circles on the map. Load scraps onto the pickup or dump truck and sell them in the junkyard. Right, so we, we load them onto the, um, the dump truck. We'll be able to load up far more than we can here. And we'll make a fortune out of it. Right, waypoint has been reached. I want to go in here with my load of scrap. Right, ready to sell resources. Press enter for details. Load scrap resource. 721, we got 0.4 ton. So you get a ton. Sell. Ideal, right. So we made a little bit of money. Not a vast fortune, but we have made a little bit of money. And I'm I'm actually really pleased with that. I think that is something that's really good. We, we've sort of made some progress. We've done something we haven't done before. We've we've done we've covered something new and different in the game. Now, the next thing that I want is to actually find some discover the lumber depot. Ah. I didn't even know there was a lumber depot. Okay. No, the next thing that I would like to do is I'd like to find somewhere where we can actually sleep the night. We've got the casino. Oh, you casino. They've got the garage. A renovated shop. Abandoned office. Your office. Right. So, what are these? Are there any other locations? Um, my office. I don't want my office. I want somewhere I can go and sleep for the night. That's that's all I'm after, is um, so that we can skip the night. I will have to see if I can find out about this for our next episode. Can we go anywhere to skip the night? Is that going to be a thing? Is that, is that going to be possible? Uh, play pool at Joe's, right? Uh, I don't really want to go and play pool. Renovated shop. All right, let's go round and we'll take a look at the renovated shop and see what that says. That's the pool hall there really want to go to the pool hall. Uh, right, is this is this the renovated shop or is that the renovated shop back there? I got a big green flashing park over there. It's this. Why is it flashing at me? I don't really get why that one's flashing at me over there. Right. Uh, well, there's nothing in these. I'm going to go and I'm going to park up. Over, I'm going to take a look at why is it flashing at me? Is that because of that? That's I did actually get the vehicle delivered here, didn't I? I got one delivered here. If I go there, yeah. Seems a bit odd. Why are you flashing? I really have no idea on that one. Right. Skip the night. Do we have a way? We got rating right here. Get to work. Get to work off Incorporated and Frithgar Incorporated. So yeah, it's just because I'm my name is Frithgar, so it's called me Frithgar Incorporated. Buy properties and get company to net worth 400. Oh, I see. Right, we need to increase our net worth, and that unlocks the company branch in Dorfenburg. All right, that's good. We can cope with that. So jobs here at the moment. We got the gas station, toilets. We got the vintage saloon, and we got the underground reservoir. That's the one where we push the, um, the caravans off the cliff. That was actually quite a lot of fun. We quite enjoy doing that one. And then we've also got the guarded parkings. There's two lots of guarded parkings that we could do. And I think you need the bulldozer for doing those, don't you? Right. There's, I think that's one guarded parking there in front of us. We go over to this one. All right. If anybody knows, head into the comment section down below and tell me, is it possible to skip the night in this game? Or do you just have to work through every night? I really, really hope that it is possible to skip the night. I don't want to have to be working through every night. It's just, it, I don't know, it, it, it's better if we don't have to skip it. Uh, if, we, if we don't have to work through it, rather. I don't want to work through it if I don't have to. Now, what's this? Oh, this is the old gas station. So what do we do with the old gas? Is, is there a job here? I don't think there is. Um, that's old gas station, abandoned office. Renov oh, I see. I'm just uncovering places I go around. We've got the Lumber Depot, Gold Valley Scrap. There's a few other bits there. I haven't sort of driven around and found them all. 
Last time, I don't remember there being anywhere that we could like skip the night while we were in our office or anything like that. I'm, I would like there to be somewhere to do, do that, but I, I've got a feeling that that's not going to be the case here either. So we go in here, and that one is just properties ready. We go in here, this one is saying could just deliver those. Right. If anybody knows of a way to skip the night, then please let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to act on it next week. Um, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to stop this episode here this week. I don't think we've got time to go and start another job now. And I'd rather be able to do full jobs. Now, there's, there's, there's no beds. I've already looked through this in... Uh, I, I looked through this previously. Now I'm lost. I'm lost in my own office block. It's not the way to be. All right. That was a little embarrassing. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.